Hey guys, welcome to the Bows. Today I'll be talking about UFC 259's co-main event, Amanda Nunes versus Megan Anderson. Can Megan beat Nunes? No. Alright guys, that's all I got for you today. Leave a like, comment below, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Nah, I'm just kidding. But it does feel like a lost cause fight for Megan. Nunes is currently sitting as a minus 1250 favorite, which is ridiculous for MMA. But does Megan provide any stylistic uh, advantages that could threaten Nunes? Well, she's obviously going to have a reach advantage. Megan is a huge woman. So if she uses straight punches and kicks, maybe she'll be able to at least force Nunes to shoot in and take her down. But I doubt that is going to happen. At first, I thought Megan's size might cause Nunes to take the fight to the ground if there is any trouble at all on the feet, similar to what Nunes did against Jermaine Durand in the second fight, but Megan is nowhere near as proficient as Jermaine is in kickboxing. It's not even close. I also don't think Megan uses her reach and length as well as she should. In the Embedded series, Nunes gives Megan credit, actually saying that her opponent uses her reach well, but I think she was just showing respect, being nice, and trying not to overlook her next opponent. We also saw Megan get out grappled against Felicia Spencer, and she beat Megan via submission in the first round. And when Nunes fought Spencer, she beat her up bad, and Nunes was never in any danger that entire fight. Spencer just couldn't do anything to threaten Nunes even a little bit, or put her in a little bit of trouble. I know MMA math usually isn't reliable, but I think it will be reliable this time. Megan Anderson beating Amanda Nunes the GOAT of women's MMA, without question, would probably be the biggest upset in MMA history, and one of the biggest upsets in all of sports, honestly. Nunes is the better striker, grappler, and has a lot more experience against top-level fighters. She outkickboxed Holly Holm. She overpowered Cyborg. She choked out Misha Tate. She beats great fighters at their own game, essentially. So it will be interesting to see what Megan's game plan is coming into this. She has a good coach in James Krause, and I think he'll be realistic. So I would think the game plan would be to try and start fast, go wild in the first round, and try to catch her with something. I don't know. We'll see. My prediction is a second round submission win for Nunes. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Who do you think wins and how? Do you think I'm underestimating Megan in any way? Let me know. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.